As many as 4 million children and teenagers in Thailand lack access to a quality education, the Bangkok administration is now partnering with a tech giant to take a small but important step in reducing the gap. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, or BMA, is making use of old laptops, which otherwise would become electronic waste, to help students to study at a city elementary school. These computers are being refurbished and installed with Google software, which provides a stable system and reduces energy consumption. Google's Director of Marketing Southeast Asia, Mike Jidiwani, says that Google has received positive feedback from the school. The BMA and Google aim to expand this project to the BMA's 437 schools in the next three years. To start this journey, we actually started with another research with another school in Bangkok, right, named Thai Niyom Songkrok School. And what I like about this research with BMA is instead of picking and like most research programs, sometimes they pick a very capable school that is a little bit more savvy. For this research project, BMA selected a more average school that would represent what a normal school in Bangkok would be to see how this can be scaled across the, 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 the Bangkok area better right? and, and, and improve you know, the, the, the learning experience here. And once again, the research have shown very, uh, much improved engagement with students. They just also show improvement in what they actually learn. Google initiated a long-term educational plan in Thailand in 2018. Projects including to leave no time behind and be internet awesome facilitate learning and teaching at schools. The cooperation with the BMA will further reduce the access to educational gap with new technology. Mike also emphasized that this initiative also provides sustainable solutions for electronic waste. If you look at just in Thailand alone, every year there are more than 400,000 e-waste generated. Right? Um, a lot of devices being used but also being discarded. How do we make this device become useful and, and, and effective again? Right? And this is when we partner to introduce to, to scale Chrome OS Flex, which is an OS and a program to convert old and used laptops to be, become uh, effective Chromebooks again. Right, and this will, be, will work really well on even old devices. In one of the research in Japan, we found that uh, an old laptop that has been converted to Chrome OS Flex, it actually reduced um, power consumption and in effect reduced um, carbon footprint by up to 45%. And if you look at the life cycle of a device in even corporate setting today, a laptop tends to last around three to four years. By converting it to Chrome OS Flex, we actually extend the life cycle of a device by up to 5 to 10 years more. Old laptops installed with Chrome OS Flex can connect users with cloud services. The software synchronizes Chrome-based applications, including Google Classroom, to help students to learn efficiently on reconditioned laptops. Indonesia is the first country to adopt this Google project in Southeast Asia to harness the educational initiative. A national platform was established by the central government. What really stands out about the Indonesian program is the government have a national learning platform called Belajar.id. Right? This is powered by um, Google Workspace for Education. Right? And this is a, a, a national platform where nationwide schools could access and benefit from technologies. The other thing that really stands out about Indonesia is the government also want to use this opportunity to support the device manufacturing ecosystem in Indonesia. And our Google Chrome team is supporting through the process by providing expertise and consultations to the local OEM in the country to be able to manufacture Chromebook devices well in the country. Right? So through a combination of having the right software infrastructure and the right hardware infrastructure together, this would create the scaled impact needed in the country. In addition to installing new software into old laptops, Google has utilized artificial intelligence in Google Classroom. AI can detect a student's movement, produce transcription, and analyze the originality of students' homework. Now, if you look into the future, an area that is very interesting for AI would be more about adaptive learning that we thought would be interesting. Adaptive learning meaning how we customize the learning experience for each student and each learning based on their needs. Because we know students are different, each learners are different, right? And the way they can learn would be different as well. An example tool that we have today is called Practice Set. It's a tool where as students learn to solve a problem, 
the two can learn and adapt to understand what else is the tips and tricks that each student would need to overcome the problem they see, right, which could be unique to each of the learners. Mike said AI development is still at an early stage, doing hands with governments and educators is significant in providing new and equitable learning for every student. Google also collaborates with one of Thailand's hospitals on detecting diabetic retinopathy using AI technology. Initiatives on education and health with AI support could change the world surprisingly quickly. Frank Kanshi reporting for Thai PBS World.